Welcome to Marketing with Confidence. I'm your host, Marianne Amies. We're going to be talking all things digital and online marketing for business owners and marketing professionals. If you've been feeling overwhelmed by your digital marketing, be sure to listen along and you'll hear tips, interviews and more that will give you the confidence to create marketing you love. Welcome. I'm really excited to have you here and hope you find this podcast really useful, really fun, and it helps you to feel more confident with your digital marketing. My journey to a career in digital was a combination of good timing and good luck. I went into full-time work and part-time uni straight out of school, so by 30 years old, I'd created a pretty solid marketing career. I'd enjoyed over a decade of working for some of Australia's much-loved brands like Burley, Hestia, Revlon, Elizabeth Arden, Holden, working with great teams, enjoying the work hard, play hard lifestyle that marketing brought and getting taken to lunch a lot. I was always a passionate speaker and educator and I actually taught at TAFE a couple of nights a week, a diploma of marketing while I was working in my corporate jobs. And if I look back to high school, a teaching career was actually something I really considered. Although I was glad I went into marketing and genuinely love the mix of creativity and analytical it brings. And the lunches. In 2010, I had my first child, Marco, and this would go on to change everything. Born in October, by December, I was already helping a business owner who bought a whole lot of stock and had no plan on how to market it. That contract founded Wise Up Marketing, which at the time was a solution for micro business owners who needed help with their marketing. I worked on a lot of mini marketing plans and a lot of Facebook. This was back when Facebook was life. I mean, we could get engagement out of just about anything and sales too. It was all organic and and everything on Facebook was going off. What I probably didn't know at that time was A, I was about to create for myself a really successful business and B, I was pivoting from a traditional marketing career to a digital marketing career which for an elder millennial was really progressive. So for the next two years, I worked with small business owners and I dipped my toe in web development, social ads. I was literally here for the launch of social ads. Facebook launched ads in about 2012, 2013, and we were straight on it for our small businesses. I also started teaching at private college, both marketing and business admin, And plus, I threw another baby in the mix. So by 2012, I was juggling two under two and a growing business. In 2013, I went all in on the business. I stepped away from my teaching, hired my first employee. Fast forward just under 10 years, and I've built a multi six-figure business with an ever-growing team that services clients across Australia in all types of fields. I also lead courses, workshops, and events where I teach business owners and professionals marketing knowledge, digital marketing skills, and how to strategically grow their businesses. Working with thousands of business owners over the last 12 years, the biggest thing that I've heard is I'm not good at digital. So many business owners didn't grow up with social media and now see there is a need to be active on social media for success but they feel overwhelmed both by the tech and their ability to master it. Nine times out of 10 though, they're doing better than they think. The truth is there's a lot of noise in the market when it comes to digital marketing. There's always a new trend to jump on or a new product or a channel that's been released and keeping up with what to do, when to do it and knowing why is exhausting. Then there's career marketers, women in their mid-30s, mid-40s and beyond that launched a marketing career when traditional marketing was the basis of of everything we did or digital when it started to, to blow up, got outsourced to an agency. Now, years later, as they look to make steps in different directions in their career, that demand for digital skills is in every single job description And although they're so solid in their traditional marketing and 
Strategically, they understand digital marketing. They've ever, never had to hit the ground running with execution. They've never got in the back of Facebook or, or adjusted an ad or looked at Google Analytics. And those digital skills now are assumed knowledge and, and it's a real gap. I know a lot of my girlfriends and, and colleagues from, from teams I worked with in my corporate days are always asking me about, you know, those digital skills. They've got a job they're looking to apply for and they'll say to me, you know, it says I need to have a knowledge of Facebook or MailChimp or WordPress backend. Am I going to be okay? Can I, you know, can I learn that? And I mean, the answer is overwhelmingly yes, of course you can. But, you know, digital confidence and feeling that confidence in both the strategy and the execution can be a real gap. My approach to digital has always been about taking away the overwhelm, breaking digital marketing down to what it really is, marketing, helping you to understand who you're marketing to, where to find those clients, and how to align your message to make them choose you, your business, your service, your product, your offer. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, LinkedIn, ads, they're all the tools and the tactics but they're not the strategy. Getting confident in the foundation work will make the tools and tactics less overwhelming. And so through this podcast, I'm going to be sharing my experiences, the highs and lows of running a business for over 12 years, the insight I have into successfully marketing different types of businesses, the pressure on business owners to do it all, to work in the business, on the business, and to be digitally courageous. So if you're looking to increase your digital confidence without the fads and jargon, if you're looking for inspiration and want to have a laugh along the way, I hope you'll love our time together and I look forward to delivering you all that and more. Hey, thanks for listening to another episode. If you don't want to miss one, make sure you subscribe to the show in your podcast app. And if you love it, Be sure to share it with friends and colleagues who you think could benefit from increasing their digital marketing confidence. Want more? Head to MarianneAmys.com to find out how you can work with me directly, to reach out to have me speak at your event, or to grab yourself some free resources.